Hi, welcome to another video on this channel. This is Titus Ojo. I'll be bringing you another interesting scholarship opportunity in this video in one country in Europe. If you are new to this channel, please kindly watch this video and subscribe if it, this is the kind of information you would like to get updates on every now and then. And then for returning subscribers, I really appreciate you for coming back to watch this video. Uh, and then if you are new, uh, this channel is dedicated to providing information on scholarship, studying abroad opportunities, especially in countries like the UK, the US, uh, Canada, and other countries in Europe especially. So on this particular video, I'll be bringing to you information about a scholarship in Finland. If you are interested in studying in Finland, this is a video for you. Uh, please for you to know all the necessary information in this video you have to watch till the end of the video uh, to understand which school you have to apply to how you go about the application and all the necessary important information that you need in order to be successful in applying to this scholarship so let's get into the details so as mentioned as mentioned this is scholarship in finland and this is uh, sponsored by government of Finland. So this is the website um, studyinfinland.fi. I will put the link to this website in the description of this video. So when you are in this uh, particular website, um, you have different information regarding universities in Finland, uh, admissions, scholarships, life in Finland, and student stories. In this video, we'll be focusing more on scholarships. However, we'll just take a look at the number of universities in Finland. We'll also look at uh, the admission requirement and some other important information that you would need for this uh, processing. So let's take a look at the university tabs, uh, universities as list. Let's click on that. Then it brings information, basic information about universities in Finland. For instance, it says Finland has 13 universities and 22 universities of applied sciences. There are basically two types of universities in Finland. There are general ones like universities where you can study any program, maybe from social sciences, uh, such as social sciences, humanities, and management, and all other uh, areas. Whereas the applied sciences, the universities basically focus on applied sciences. So those are the types of universities you have in uh, Finland. So let's go to um, what's it called, the admission. But before we go to the admission tab, so the universities in Finland have bachelor's degree, uh, master's, and also PhD. And also, most importantly, especially for international students looking to study uh, in Finland, the uh, mode of communication at the universities in Finland is English. So they speak English. So that's very important for co your consideration. So let's look at the admission tab. So when you look at my admission tab, you have uh, programs, you have pathways. Let's take a look at the programs. So this shows you about different programs, the pathways, uh, the bachelors we have mentioned earlier. Usually this is about three to four, uh, three point five to four point five uh, years, uh, depending on the course you're studying. So whereas um, for master's degree. It's about two years uh, full time. Um, so that's, uh, and then when it comes to the uh, universities of applied sciences, it's just about one to 1.5, right? So if you're going to the other universities that are not applied sciences, it takes about two years, whereas for applied sciences, it takes about one to one and a half years. For doctoral studies, uh, it's about um, four years, it takes around four years to be completed. So they also explain what the ECTS credits um, means. So because for each of those programs, there are 
certain amount of credits that you must complete right so take a look at this page uh, uh, when when you have the information regarding this uh, particular link in the description of the video so let's take a look at the scholarships or before we take a look at the scholarship let's take a quick look at the admission requirement let's look at the bachelor's and master's admission requirement quickly so on this page you have um, information on how to apply to schools uh, there's a dat database um, that is studyinfo.fi so you start by searching for the study programs that you wish to apply for so the link uh, the link is here uh, on this particular page just go there and then you find out how you can search for schools um, and also programs that you want to study so there's also the joint application the studyinfo.fi joint application to study starting in autumn last september is arranged annually in january that's between january 3rd to 17th in 2024 all degree programs are available via the joint application share the same application period joint application also means that you can apply to up to six degree programs with one application so what this means is you can just submit one application for like one two three up to six different programs uh, so this is uh, very interesting uh, so let's look at the eligibility criteria now eligibility criteria means that what are the requirements for you to meet uh, the admission uh, so that you can be admitted to the university in Finland so for instance for master's level admission you have to complete a university level bachelor's degree uh, or equivalent so means that if you want to study master's level in Finland you must have an undergraduate degree that you have completed already so for universities of applied sciences uh, masters there's an additional requirement of at least two years work experience so in addition to your bachelor's degree you must have two years of work experience for the universities of applied sciences in Finland so there's a requirement may vary from one degree program to another for example if you are eligible applicant you may additionally be required to complete an entrance exam such as SAT or maybe an interview and also if English is not your first language you must you may be required to complete uh, IELTS exams that's test of English exam or a TOEFL so depending on your peculiarities and depending on your background you may be asked to take an entrance exam or take test of English so those are the major uh, requirements uh, in addition to uh, if you want to study a master's you must have a bachelor's if you are applying to universities of applied sciences you must have a bachelor's plus two year work experience so let's go to the scholarship tab now and look at what it entails so you click out on Finland scholarships so Finland scholarships for university students so this is open for international students Finland scholarships offers international students from outside the EU and EEA in funding their university education in Finland ensuring that they get the best support for making most of their studies nurturing their talent and launching successful career after graduation so that's the main aim for this uh, scholarships and then for all those participating universities um, they are also listed on this particular page uh, we have um, to mention some of them we have the Alto University we have the University of Helsinki we have the uh, University of Eastern Finland we have the University of Lapland uh, LUT University University of Oulu Ankel School of Economics 
University of the Arts Helsinki and so on and so forth right so there are so many universities there and then important information about this scholarship is that it covers um, a first year tuition fee for your master's degree program so for instance if you uh, if, if you need to study for a program uh, more than one year or two years uh, more than one year, uh, it only this scholarship only covers first year tuition and a relocation grant of five thousand euros as a minimum, right? So, but in addition to that, many universities offer further scholarship options for the second year of your master studies. So it means that uh, if the government of Finland sponsored your first year, definitely you can especially when it comes to the university you are applying to so it's important that you check uh if the university you are applying to have scholarship opportunities for you uh especially when it comes to if your uh, master's program as second year then it means that you must find out if your university have master scholarship so that you can apply for that master's after your first year so that is uh, the basic information about the scholarship here for especially for master's degree program so let's look at uh, um, the doctor i think for the scholarships is only cover the master's and the doctoral fellowship so for bachelor's degree this does not provide any info this page doesn't, doesn't provide any information on the bachelor's degree if you can have a scholarship for that or not so which means that most likely bachelor's programs are not covered under the scholarships so for the doctoral one uh country it contributes this scholarship contributes to the salary paid by the finnish university and also includes a two thousand euros arrival grant uh, so in addition to the salary that will be paid by uh, the finnish university that you're applying to there is also the 2000 euros arrival grant that you be uh, provided to so this scholarship is sponsored or funded by the ministry of education and culture in finland so look out for this scholarship check out the eligibility criteria if you are eligible to apply and um, make sure you apply before the uh, deadline date because this is applicable for 2023 2024 so i wish you all the best this is all we're going to be providing to you in this particular video the link to this particular page or to this website is provided in the description of the video check it out thank you and if you're new if you're not subscribed yet kindly subscribe to this channel as we'll be bringing you more scholarship or study abroad opportunities and if you are returning thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next video please comment if you have questions like this video and share with those who you know that we need this kind of opportunities please do kindly do so thank you so much and i will see you in the next video